Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of The Marriage Man, where we ask you, answer your questions about what's going on in relationships. We'll work on that. So, a question I have for that I was asked today was, why does my partner make me so mad? This is something that happens a lot in every serious, committed relationship. And so we're going to kind of dive into that and figure out, why does my partner make me so mad? So the first thing that we have to do is acknowledge that you are angry. You are mad. And you, this may sound like an odd step and kind of obvious, but it's, it's really not. It's an important to own the fact that what they are doing or what they are not doing is making you angry. Because a lot of times, and I see this play out with my, the couples that I counsel, is that the focus is on the other person. What are they doing? Why are they doing that? That's so frustrating, so annoying. But it's about focusing in on yourself and asking yourself, why am I mad? Why is this bothering me? Because ultimately, anger isn't a bad emotion. It's just an emotion. And But a lot of times we think that anger's bad and we can fall into this trap of, you're making me angry, therefore it's your fault. You're the one with the problem. You're the one that needs to be fixed. You know, and I'm not saying that's not true, but the only person that you can control is you. So let's take a look at you. Why are you mad? Most of the time it comes down to because there's something that you want and you're not getting it. And that, because anger is this emotion that tells us this is wrong. This shouldn't be happening. This is unfair. I don't like this. And it gives you energy to fix it. The problem is, is that when you focus on your partner, you put the control in their hands rather than in your own hands. And so going back to what is it that you want? And so some of these tend to fall into pretty typical patterns. Now, I can't give an exhaustive list here, but I can give you what I typically see. So for example, it could be you're tired. You're, you want peace. You want quiet. You want to not be nagged. You want to just be able to relax or to do what you want to do or enjoy life. But your partner is asking for your time or is putting their problems on you because they want you to fix them or give your input or insight. And quite frankly, you don't want to. You're tired. You had something else that you wanted to do. You were hoping to maybe have a quiet night at home or you wanted to do something else and they disturbed your peace. So you're mad. Another potential thing is you want to make progress on this issue. Perhaps you're fighting about something, finances or kids or careers or how do we work with our friends or see work with our careers, something like that. And you feel like you're not getting anywhere. And the fact that your partner just keeps bringing this up over and over again, it, it's frustrating because we've talked about this. I would like to have made some progress on this. And you're frustrated because you're not making any progress. That could be one thing. Another thing is you could feel misunderstood. You, it can mean a lot to you that the person that you're with gets you, understands you, knows what you're why you're upset and why this is bothering you and, and they don't want to because maybe they just don't want to or they're tired or they'd rather do something else but they don't want to take the time and the energy to see your side of the story and you desperately want them to and it makes you so mad that they won't listen to you because you really want to explain yourself. That could be one. Another thing that makes you mad is that they're always a buzzkill. They're always going on about their problems. They're always stuck in the past and they're always bringing up your mistakes and how life, and it's just so not fun. And why you wanted to be this with this person is because they were fun. They, you had a good time when they were around and now where did that person go? And, uh, and you just want to get back to the good times and by them, not having fun, always being upset, in your opinion, 
it's frustrating and you don't want to uh, to understand and you say okay why is this information valuable this information is valuable because if you don't know why you're angry how can you communicate that to your partner because the responsibility on you is to coach your partner how to be a better partner they don't know you they don't know what you want they don't know what your life wants to look like they know what they want hopefully but they don't know what you want unless you tell them and if you don't know what you want you can't tell them so that's why this is a very very wonderful question to ask yourself to use it as an opportunity to grow because the one thing I say on this channel a lot is relationships are gifts they are opportunities to grow as individuals they are a mirror that you look into that they bring out quite frankly the worst in you but so that you can do something about that and you can change and you can grow and so if you're getting mad at your partner I just want to encourage you to start looking at it as a gift don't don't beat yourself up for being angry but really look at yourself and say what is it that I want? Because you matter. You're part of this relationship. Well, that does it for today. I will see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.